In today's second lesson on analytical geometry, we're going to have a look at circles where the center is now at a specific coordinate, A, B. Here we have a circle where the center is not at the origin anymore, but has now moved and is at a specific coordinate, A, B. And to calculate the equation for this specific circle, we are once again going to focus on our radius and try and see how we can determine the length of the radius using Pythagoras. And to do that, we're going to need a coordinate on the circumference of the circle, x, y, and we are going to add a 90 degree triangle. In this triangle, if we want to calculate the length of the radius, we first need the length of the other two sides of the triangle. So to determine the length of the vertical side, we need the difference between the two y coordinates. So at the top, we have a coordinate of y, and at the bottom, we have a y coordinate named b. So the length of that vertical side is y minus b. And the same goes for my horizontal length, where I need the two x values. So I have a coordinate x, and I have a coordinate a, so the length in between is x minus a. So if I now go and use my theorem of Pythagoras to calculate the radius, I will have x minus a squared plus y minus b squared will be equal to r squared. And this will then be the equation for a circle with center AB. When we now start looking at examples, I'm going to start off with an example where we can simply substitute. So example one, write down the equation of the circle with center at one minus three and radius two. Once again, it helps to get a picture in mind. So here we have a circle that moved right and down. And we have a center for the circle at 1 minus 3 and a radius of 2. So here we can immediately substitute. And because this is a circle that has moved and doesn't have the center at the origin anymore, I know that the equation will look like this. So now we can start substituting because we now saw that the a and the b values are the values of our center coordinates. So we can substitute the a with 1 and the b with minus 3. So here it is very important that you remember that there's already a minus in the equation. You could have always already multiplied those two minuses and substituted in plus 3. Our radius r was given as 2 and that should still be squared. So here you could have immediately written the final answer where we now have y plus 3 squared, and our radius squared is 4. In example 2, we are asked to give the radius and the coordinates of the center of the circle, and we are given the equation. So here, we just need to know the theory of the standard form of the equation. So to get the center of the circle, we need to find the values of a and b, so in this case, the center is at 1 and 0. And our radius squared in this case is 25. And that means the radius will be the square root of 25, which is 5. Example 3. Determine the equation of the circle. And our first circle has a center of 3, 2 and passes through the point 1, minus 2. So here, the center, which is our a and b in our equation, was given, but the radius was not given. So to calculate the radius, we will need to use the extra coordinate that was given, or the extra x and y. So we're starting off with our standard equation and substituting the values of a and b. Both a and b are positive, so there's still a minus in my equation. Next, we want to calculate r squared. And for that, we are going to substitute the extra coordinates, or the extra x and y, into my equation. And now I can simplify to solve r. So the first bracket is minus 2, that will be squared to get 4. The second bracket, minus 4 squared, is 16. And this means that r squared is 20. Now I just need to write down my final equation, which will be x minus 3 squared plus y minus 2 squared is equal to r squared of 20. 
In B, we still need to determine the equation of the circle, but we are only given the points minus 3, minus 7 and 3, 1 as the endpoints of the diameter of this circle. Once again, it helps if you can go and draw a sketch for yourself. And this time, the center of the circle is not given, but the points minus 3, minus 7 and 3, 1 are given as the endpoints of the diameter. And we know that the diameter goes through the center of the circle and divides it into two radii, which will be equal in length. And this means here we'll have to start off with an older analytical geometry formula, and that is the midpoint formula. So to calculate the coordinates of the midpoint or the center, I'm going to add the two x values, minus 3 and 3, and divide them by 2, and add the two y values and divide them by 2. And if I simplify, the center will be at 0, minus 3. And these two coordinates will now become our a and our b value in our standard equation for the circle. Now to calculate r, we need to substitute another point and you can now choose which one of the two given points you will use. I'm going to use the two positive coordinates 3 and 1. So here I've now substituted a and b with 0 and minus 3 and x and y with 3 and 1 and now I can simplify. So I will have 9 plus 16 is r squared, which means that r squared is 25. So my final equation will be x squared, because it's x minus 0, plus y plus 3, because the center is at minus 3, and this will be equal to 25. In example C, we are now given a sketch and we need to find the necessary information from the sketch. So here we can see that our center was given and it has a coordinate of 3 and 2. But we also need a second coordinate on the graph and here you need to realize that the bottom coordinate is on the x-axis, so it is 3 and 0. And this means that our calculations will look similar to example A because we have the center's coordinate and another coordinate on the circumference. So in our formula, A and B can become 3 and 2. And X and Y we can substitute with 3 and 0 so that we can solve R squared. This will simplify to R squared is 4. And once again, we just need to write down our final equation, which is x minus 3 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 4. So in this lesson, we had a look at many different ways we can give you information to ask you to calculate the equation of the circle. The important thing for you to remember is you need to always calculate the coordinates of the center, a and b, and the value of r squared.